Do you know how for two-way wireless video and data transceivers transfer at sea level? Let us take a look at the test location first, Shenzhen Daping Bay. At Google Maps, we can measure the distance from the transmitter to the receiver. It is 20,650 meters, 20.6 kilometers, or 12.8 miles. The transmitter and camera are located on the Demisha Sea Viewing Platform, and the receiver and computer are next to the seaside road on Daping Island. From the transmitter to the receiver, it is sea level with no obstacles. However, both are close to sea level, and the ground will absorb signals. Our test simulate transmission scenarios between ships at sea or to shore. Let's first see the transmitter and camera. What you see currently is the IP Ethernet camera and the battery that powers it. We are located on a sea viewing platform. Because it is a two-way transmission, there are two transmitting and receiving antennas to ensure a good transmission signal. Two antennas are connected to the transmitter. The blue one next to the transmitter is the battery, and a network cable connects the transmitter and the Ethernet camera. Two-way wireless video, data, and audio broadband transceiver, supporting up to 20 Mbps. Two-way wireless video, data, and audio broadband transceiver, supporting up to 20 Mbps. It can provide video surveillance, voice talking, or internet services from shore to ships on the ocean. The weather is very good today and there are many tourists on the beach. If you have the opportunity to come to China, we can come here to test together. The length of the antenna we use is 0.8 meters, you can also use 1.8 meters and install the antenna as high as possible. Through the feeder cable, we connect the antenna to the transceiver placed on the ground. We use two batteries, one to power the transceiver and one to power the camera. The transceiver has two networking modes, point-to-point -point one transmitter and one receiver, or IP mesh star networking for multi-transmitter and multi-receiver. Now let's look at the receiver and computer side. Located on the Daping Peninsula, across the sea from the transmitter. On the seaside road, you can see two receive antennas, computers, and receivers. Next time we should bring a tripod to install the receiving antenna. You also can use an auto tracking antenna that supports directional antennas. Let's take a look at the computer monitor and see the video sent by the transmitter. The computer is connected to the receiver via a network cable. What we see now on video is a screen recording on a computer monitor connected to a receiver. On the computer desktop, we have two windows, one is the real-time video screen, and the other is where various parameters can be adjusted. Bandwidth, transmission distance, signal strength, transmitter output power, password, etc. This bidirectional video data transceiver can have two network ports, a data serial port and a control serial port. It has two built-in 5-watt amplifiers, so it is 2x5w. If it is from a drone in the air to a receiver on the ground, it can support 80100 kilometers. It includes real-time video downloading and is connected to the flight control, so you can control the drone and download real-time data of the drone. We also have customers using this two-way video data transceiver for drones, ground mini robot vehicles, and ocean unmanned ships. If you have special purposes, we can also customize functions according to your needs. The test was a complete success. In the following video, I will show the progress at 10x speed. Let's take a look at the test environment at the receiver side.
Let's take a look at the test environment at the transmitter side. Thanks for your watching, please contact us if you have any question on the bidirectional video data transmitter and receiver for the camera.